Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's get this. Let's get this done. It's, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, and I've been teaching like since eight thirty this morning. I need to get some administrative stuff done. All right. First of all, these problems are very straightforward. They're not simple, but they're very straightforward. Um, let's just take a look at a few of them. I'm not going to do them. All right. A cylindrical wire has a length two point eight meters. One point oh. Uh, 1.03 millimeters is its radius, so you got to convert that to meters. It carries a current of 0.35, 1.35 amps with a voltage of 0 0.03. This is this is a test type question, classic test type question. Now, how would you do this? From what material is the wire made? This is a good question because this is what we would do in a lab to figure out the resistivity of something. We would run it, we'd hook something up to a voltage, run a current through it, okay, turn it on. We can measure the current, we can measure the voltage, and go, okay, now I know what the resistance is. Well, we can measure the, because V is equal to I times R. Okay? In other words, what we're saying here is this. What problem was that? Problem 12. Real quick, so problem 12 looks like this. V equals IR. They don't. They give you V and they give you I. They don't give you R, so you go, oh, R, that's easy enough. And then we also know that R is equal to rho times the length, which they gave you, times the pi R squared down here, and they gave you R. Pretty simple. We've got to figure out this guy. That's a great test question because you, you have to use all of the things. You know, you have to use quite a few concepts there to solve it. 13 is pretty straightforward, as I recall. Coil of wire. Has, okay, now this time we're just trying to find the coefficient, the temperature co that alpha, the temperature coefficient of resistivity. That's all. That's just one straight, straight formula. Way back here. Not that far back either. There it is. Oops, there it is. Whoop. There it is. All right. Moving on. What else we got here? The only one I thought, I think, that would cause any kind of issues. Here you go. 120 volts. V. Power is 270. What's the resistance of the heater wire in the blanket? We want to keep that heater wire low. We want to keep that resistance low so it doesn't burn up, right? Catch us on fire. Oh, as a matter of fact, I don't think I got around to this question because I did the I did these kind of quick. Here it is. A stereo receiver. I wanted to talk about this. A stereo receiver. No. Nope. Okay, we did that. Here, here we go. During the winter, many people use portable electric space heaters to keep. However, manufacturers often warn against using an extension cord. If one must be used, they recommend a certain air wire gauge or smaller. Smaller gauge means thicker wire. Okay? In other words, it's, it looks like this. Here's what I was trying to say earlier. Smaller gauge. So for conceptual question seven, which could be conceptual question seven, Here's a hole. Here's, here's a hole. I gotta put wires in this hole. Okay. Same hole to determine the gauge. Let's say I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I can fit twelve wires in there that are that thick, but let's make it bigger. I can only fit nine in there that are that big. Oh, but it should have been the same size hole, too. Gosh dang it. Anyway, if it's the same size hole. So let's make it the same size hole. So you can get a lot more wire. So smaller gauge, thicker wire. And that's what we want to have happen here. 
because we want that we want the resistance to the wire to be low because if the res if the resistance is low then it um, a, a thicker wire um, it goes through there easier and it won't heat up on us all right that's why heating coils on an oven are so hot I mean so thick piece of cake 23 is easy 38 is about the only, the heating element the iron is plugged in there you go how much power I mean these are just straightforward using P equals IV P equals uh, I squared times R P equals V squared over R this one we'll do in class on Friday this one we're going to do in class on Friday and it'll be fun we've already kind of started it remember I kind of we, we kind of did that in class already what's the only one that might be kind of tricky this one an electric heater is used to boil small amounts of water and consists of a 13 amp coil that is immersed directly in the water. It operates from 120. This is kind of like, this is a little bit like, um, uh, for those of us who have bird feeders, um, who enjoy having bird feeders, my, my, my son-in-law, I've got him hooked on having bird feeders too, because he's got a nice seat he can sit out and look out at the thing. But he's got a fancy hookup because he's got, He's got, he put a heater in the, in the, in the bird, in the bird bath so that it doesn't freeze over. I have to pour mine out each day and then fill it with steaming hot water. So they have some water in the morning. But anyway, it operates at 120 volt socket. How much time is required for the heater to raise the temperature of 0.23 kilograms of water from 28 degrees centigrade to the boiling point, which is hundred. Take the specific heat of water. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, sounds like my cousin Vinny. It's a miracle. Okay, 13, I'm gonna write down what we have here and we'll get us started. R equals 13 amps, V equals 120 volts. How much times, um, M equals, the mass is 0.23 kilograms. And we're doing it, the delta T is equal to 100 minus 28, which is equal to 72 Celsius. What the heck are we doing here? How long is it going to take? How much energy? Oh, my goodness. How, how much energy? All right. So here we go. So, how long? If we're given this, how long is it going to take? Well, here's what we do. We know the power. Okay? We've got the power. Power is equal to V squared over R. And we know that power is equal to joules over time. Okay, joules over time. Okay, so now what, what I have to do is, is I've got to figure out, um, so that's, that's my power. Now, I've got to figure out the joules, the change in Q, which is the energy that this is required to heat up, is going to equal MC delta T. Okay. All right, so the joules in a second, the joules in one second is equal to V squared over R is equal to that. So if I multiply, if I take joules or power, times the seconds, I get the energy. Aha! That's how you solve it then. I'm going to take this, divide it by the power that you get from here, and you're on your way.
All right, that's a little bit, and that will set you up for problem 38, okay? Same idea in problem 38. The only problem with problem 38 is you have to look up, you know, how many, how many kilograms you have in eight gallons of water. How, ma how much water do you, how many, how many kilograms mass, what's the mass on earth of eight gallons of water?